Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to build a basic calculator in C Sharp. So we're basically going to build a little program where the user can enter in two numbers and then our program will add them together and spit out the answer onto the screen. So it should be kind of cool. And we're also going to talk about um, getting numbers as input from the user. So this is going to be a pretty cool tutorial. So down here, um, before we start building this, I actually want to show you guys um, how we can convert a string into a number. And this is a technique that's gonna come in handy for this application. Essentially, like if I had a string that had a number in it, so like 45 or like 45.80, um, what I could do is I could actually use a special f method in C Sharp that would be able to convert this into an actual number. And the reason that's useful is because like if I had console.write line, like if I had two strings that had numbers inside of them, like 43 plus 56, if I tried to add these two together, this is just going to concatenate the strings. So you'll see over here we get 4, 3, 5, 6. So it's not adding the two numbers that are in here together, it's just like concatenating the strings together. So in certain cases you'll have numbers that are kind of trapped inside of strings. Um, and actually we're going to have that situation uh, in this tutorial. And so you want to be able to get the numbers out of there so that you can like do math with them. So I'm going to show you guys how we can convert a string into a number. So actually over here, why don't we come down here and we're going to make a uh, number variable. So I'm just going to make an integer and we'll just call this num and I'm going to set it equal to a string. So I'm going to set it equal to a string that has a number in it, like 45. You'll see over here, C Sharp is yelling at us because this number is actually a string. So it's not going to be able to be stored inside of an integer uh, variable. So we need to convert this into a integer. And the way that we can do that is just by typing out convert like that and, all, and with a capital letter and then dot. And now we need to specify what we want to convert. So you'll see over here, there's a bunch of options like two in 32, two in 16, two double, two decimal, two string. This little convert function is basically going to allow us to convert different values to other values. In our case, we want to convert this to an integer. So I'm just going to say convert dot two int 32. And that was one of the uh, options that we had over here. And then I'm going to make an open and close parentheses around the actual string. So when I do this, this is going to go ahead and convert the string inside of here into an integer. And just to note, the string that we put in here has to have a number inside of it. Like if this was just something like that, this isn't going to work. We're actually going to get an error. But if I have a number in here like 45, then this is going to work just fine. So if I was to come down here now, I could actually use this as an integer. So I could say num plus six. And now we'll actually be able to do this math operation. So you can see we get 51. And that's essentially how we can convert a string into an integer. And just so I can point this out, like if this didn't have a number inside of it, or even if it did have a number inside of it, but the number had like text next to it, this isn't going to work. So we're actually going to get an error. And you can see the program wasn't able to run um, because it says down here input string was not in correct format. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, and later in the course, we're actually going to talk about how we can fix something like this and mitigate it. But for now, we're just going to assume that the string is going to be formatted correctly. And I'm just going to exit out of this exception. All right, so that's kind of an explanation of how we can convert a string into an integer. And we're actually going to be able to use this in our program. So like I said, we're going to build a calculator program that's going to allow the user to enter in two numbers and then we'll take those numbers, add them together and print it out. So the first thing I'm going to do is just print out a prompt. So I'm going to say console.write and I'm actually just going to use write. And then over here, I'm just going to say enter a number. And now we're prompting the user to enter a number. And what I want to do now is I want to be able to get the number that they enter. So I'm just going to say console.read line. And this is going to go ahead and wait, it's going to pause the program until they enter in a, uh, a line of text. And so what I actually want to do is I want to store the number that they enter inside of a variable. So I'm going to create a variable over here int, and we're just going to call it num1. And I'm going to set it equal to console.readline. But you'll notice over here, we're getting an error. And the problem is that console.readline is going to give us a string. So console.readline takes whatever the user enters and turns it into a string. And that's sort of the value that we have. 
If we want to eventually add these numbers together, we're not going to be able to use a string like I showed you before. So we're actually going to have to convert this into an integer, which now we know how to do. So I can just say convert dot and 32 and I'm going to surround console dot read line this whole thing with parentheses. So now this whole thing is surrounded with these parentheses and it's going to get converted into an integer. And that's basically all we need to do for that. So now I'm going to copy this and we'll be able to get the second number. So I'm going to come down here and I'll just say enter another number and we're going to call this one num two. And so now we're prompting the user for a number. We're getting that number and turning it into an integer and we're doing the same thing down here. So the last thing we want to do now is just um, print out the answer. So I'm going to go ahead and say console dot print line or write line and I'm just going to write out num one plus num two because we converted these guys into integers. We're going to be able to add them together. So let's go ahead and run this program and we'll see how we did. It says enter a number. So let's enter in a 10 and enter another number. So why don't we enter in a three? And so now it's going to convert both of those into integers and add them together and we get 13. So it looks like the program's working out pretty well. There's actually a problem with this program though. If I was trying to add a integer number with a decimal number, so if I said like four and over here I put in like a 2.6, this is actually not gonna work. So you'll see the program isn't actually printing anything out. That's because the program is stalling. We didn't enter in a correct value. We answered in a decimal value and this can't be converted into an integer. So you'll notice that the program over here is stalling. And basically that's because we entered in a decimal number. So if I wanted to allow this program to be able to handle decimal numbers, instead of converting these to integers, I'd want to convert them to doubles. So I could change both of these to doubles like this double double. And instead of saying convert dot two in 32, I could say convert dot two double and same thing down here. And now we should be able to work with decimal numbers in our program. So let's see if we can do that. I want to add two and 3.6. And now we're able to add those two together. So in certain circumstances, you might want to have a situation where the user can only answer in integer numbers. But I think in most cases you'd want to use doubles just like I did down there. And you can see how easy it is to convert them into doubles instead of integers. So that's a very basic calculator. Um, and that kind of gives you an idea of how we can get numbers as input from a user. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.